Okay. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> the 2010 Winter Olympics is entering its last week, and there's still some time to see some amazing performances. Most Olympians spend their whole life preparing for this moment. We are joined by Dave Hovde, who did not prepare his whole life, so consequently <laughs> no. did not make the Olympic team. <laughs> oh, so that, for that reason and a host of others, <laughs> yes. but he did spend a few hours trying out one of the sports. Give it to us, Dave. Speed skating. Yeah. That's what I tried. Yeah, I decided to give it a try. Now, you might think it'd be tough to get a taste of this locally, but we did it. Here's my tongue-in-cheek look at the sport as we start our week-long series, Anchors on Ice. It's a sport steeped in history, featuring modern-day American superstars like Apollo Ono, who hasn't heard about this year's controversy when speed skating megastar Sven Kramer was asked his name after winning a gold medal? Are you stupid? Speed skating first star Jacobus Eden is still the only man to win world championships in both speed skating and cycling, and he did that in the late 1800s. If there's one thing Americans love more than baseball and football, it's speed skating. So we came to the Mecca, the local Mecca for ice skating, and power skating and speed skating, the Channel Islands Ice Rink in Oxnard, California. So I had to try this for myself. Fortunately, I had the help of Pavel Sisek. Being from the permafrost of North Dakota, I knew my way around a rink, that is, if I was carrying a stick, but this was different. So you don't make this move like when you're running or something? Where my hands were seemed to be important, and so did the quality of my equipment. My skates aren't sharp, okay? <laughs> But after some practice, I was ready to take on my teacher. Nothing on the line, just pride. After being left in the ice, it was time to sum up the experience. But I think that he did very great. But the thing is, you know, as the coach, if I don't win that race, you know, it's on you. It's all the coaching. I'd replace you if I didn't win. Exactly. I was trying to channel my inner Apollo Ono and... Uh, I think I did pretty well, but I think the best improvement for me would to be to get the accent, because the accent, I think, made uh, Paolo faster. As memorable moments on the ice go, you'll always have Apollo Ono, Eric Haydn, and me, frozen into the history books. Dave Hovde, KSBY News. <laughs> Nicely done! Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Are we, we giving a score? <laughs> Score this. Okay, thing. you ready? No, you can't see mine. Okay, okay ready? ready? All right. Go ahead. Right. Oh! I'm the Russian show. <laughs> no, right. no, 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 ah. no. Like there. 20. Two, a 2 and an A. <laughs> 20. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> I think you did great. I, I'm telling you what. It's not easy. I mean, I'm, I was sore for quite some time after doing that. But uh, the folks down there at the Channel Island yeah. ice rink were great. Oh. And these two Hold guys. On. The phone just vibrated. <laughs> Hey, Danielle. Oh, wait. <laughs> really? Okay. Here What'd comes Danielle's score. Oh. 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 I'll keep that in mind when I have to score her piece. <laughs> he says if you just worked on form a little bit, you would have been a oh, well, I, I, I agree. Form was an issue. <laughs> Do you see how like balanced he was, and I'm all over the place. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, and these two guys were also at that same ice rink, That's right. and the it's folks there were great. <laughs> I know, right? And we will see them later on this week. Andrew, you're tomorrow? No, you're tomorrow. I'm tomorrow. I'm on Wednesday. You're on Wednesday. Yeah, I'm ice skating.